Hello there, Jeff here from Small Arms Research. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to work on a subject that's well overdue. I've been asked several times and today we're going to have a nice technical look at the difference between the Shrike uh, by Ares Defense or the Ares 16 uh, belt fed weapon system and the Valkyrie Armament uh, BSR Mod 1 belt fed black rifle. Let's look into them in detail. Damn, I love my job. So, today's exercise isn't a shootout. This isn't a, this one is better, or a 9 mil versus 45, or a Ford versus Chevy project, or anything like that. This is just a straight comparison of two different belt-fed black rifles that we have on the market today. Hallelujah, that just sounds cool. Two belt-fed black rifles that are currently available. Let's, uh, let's show you some close-ups, and... Uh, will help you understand a little bit about how they run and things that you might find as advantages or disadvantages um, with one or the other. Let's start with the feed system. Let's go right to the skin and bones, right to the guts. What makes them run? Ammo. Ammo and lengths. Let's zoom in. On the bottom we have the Valkyrie. This is a feed strip for the Valkyrie much shorter than anything we would use but just to illustrate its purposes this is the beginning of the feed strip you have a guide uh, link for for a starter this is the end of the belt and the end of the belt has a stop tab and the stop tab are basically two dummy rounds and these are put in the belt because it feeds from the outside and where it feeds from the outside it needs something to actually push the belt through rather than pull it like in a standard system. Now this is the uh, positioning that the Valkyrie feeds from. Uh, it goes away from the old brass to grass adage because of the type of feed system where it's uh, emulating a regular magazine the bolt carrier comes over the top and strips around out of the links just as though it's stripping it from a magazine. And we've gone over this stuff in, in extreme detail in previous videos, so we won't bore you to death with that today. But on this, it is links to grass, not brass to grass, uh, like, like most of the standard systems. Uh, these are some of the links, and one thing that differentiates these from any others is the slot. You will notice a slot in the links. Here are two links for the Valkyrie system. You'll notice this little slot that's cut in the end of each one. And as we explained previously, that is uh, so the slot can engage a tooth. So when the bolt carrier pushes the round through, it doesn't twist the belt. And that's why the uh, slot is necessary. These are made custom for the Valkyrie gun. These are two standard links for the Shrike. These are standard M27 links. Um, one of the benefits is you can buy your ammo already linked up. Uh, they do not have the slot in them. It's not necessary with that type of shuttle feed mechanism. Now this is a short belt of ammo for the Shrike, illustrating what you'd have in a full can. Uh, it is presented exactly in this fashion, uh, the traditional way brass to grass. The links are on the top, uh, in this case steel to grass, uh, because we're running some old wolf ammo that we picked up while we're doing some testing here. Now. This is a feed strip, and any of the ammo that you buy that's already in the saw boxes will typically have this feed strip on it. And while they do aid in the feeding, it's definitely not necessary, not by any means at all. On the back side of the belt, you'll notice something as well. Actually, what you'll notice is nothing. Uh, where this isn't a pusher type system, it doesn't need anything uh, for dummy links to uh, push the rounds through, similar to what you saw on the Valkyrie. So standard 223 ammo, linked up in saw boxes, uh, ready to go.
brass to grass, or steel in this case. One thing that you hear an awful lot about with both designs is it can also feed from a box magazine. With the Shrike, we drop the nice Tom Cassidy uptight saw box from the magwell. We insert the magazine, empty magazine, and it's ready to roll. All you've got to do is charge it, and uh, you're good to go. Don't have to lift the top cover, don't have to clear the links, it's all ready to go. Belt the box, belt the box, that easy. The Valkyrie will also utilize box mags as well as belts. It's a little bit more complicated, don't be intimidated by it, you still don't need any tools, it's a very simple process. All that you've got to do is remove the saw box adapter by pulling one pin and taking it off, no tools. You open the rear takedown pin, uh, which I already had open. Um, you depress the plunger that connects the feed mechanism to the drive pin where it derives its energy from the bolt carrier. You depress the mag release and you lift the belt feed mechanism out. You close the rifle, return the pin to where it belongs, and you're feeding from a box magazine. That easy. You can look at some of our previous videos and look at the Valkyrie uh, in depth. Let's show you a little bit about how the Shrike works now. The Shrike has a top cover, uh, a lot like your 249, your 240, your Minimi, your M60. Uh, what you do is lift your top cover up and you'll see the shuttle feed mechanism, which will look very, very familiar to many of you. I couldn't even begin to list all of the machine guns that use this, uh, this type of shuttle feed mechanism. Uh, you have a feed tray and your cam pin. And as your cam pin returns rearward and forward, it engages this track and that's what runs the operation. The Shrike has another very interesting feature. It has a quick release barrel system. First thing that you do is you make sure that your bolt and carrier are all the way to the rear. If you think about how an M16 family firearm works, if that bolt is forward and the bolt is turned and engaged into the barrel extension, you're probably not going to be able to pull the barrel out. Now, that's the case with the Shrike as well. Pull the carrier all the way to the rear, you depress the takedown lever, and because I don't have enough hands, we'll depress the takedown lever, and all you do is rotate the barrel just a little bit back and forth, and there it is. And as you can see, it indexes off one pinhole right here. So you can have several barrels uh, of several lengths, and whether it be uh, from a warm gun or whether it be a, a different uh, task that you hope to, uh, to use it for, you can change barrels out relatively quickly with it. And the piston is captive in the barrel system. The most important point of this exercise was to go over some of the differences between the Shrike and the Valkyrie. I've been asked by numerous people um, just the straight question, what's the difference? And as you can see, it, it's not anything that you can answer in, uh, in a single sentence. So we thought that we should make a video and uh, kind of follow up on what you wanted to see, what the uh, subscribers and uh, uh, viewers wanted to see. So we hope we did a good job on that for you. Uh, I enjoy them both immensely. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've still got that crazy slide fire stock on, uh, on this one. We had so much fun doing that video. I haven't uh, put it back in its original configuration again. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, we hope you like it and share it with your friends. Uh, keep your eyes on the channel. We have a lot of really cool things. I know I say that a lot, but uh, keep checking in. I promise that we won't disappoint you. Thanks for joining us today. Have fun and be safe.